Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Face shave time, it's been a while. I've got two, three days growth I think. It is night time here, I'm working in the morning, 4.30 start, so it's an early kick off, but let's get it knocked off. I am going to be using Razor Rock The Stallion. Now this was made, I believe, for Anthony Esposito, The Stallion, who does have a channel on YouTube. If you haven't seen him before, head on over there and have a look. I'll try and pop a link below. I'm not the best at that, as you guys know. I'll do my best. I'll see if I can remember and do it. Now, I've got a little bit of water sitting on top of the soap, just softening it up a little bit, letting the smell come out. They would call that blooming. This soap does bloom. I can smell it. It smells fantastic. It is a very oudy scent. It's an oud cologne, and it smells like oud cologne. You know what? It's not real oud, but it smells like it. I do have some real oud EDPs at Eau de Parfum, and this smells like it. It's similar it smells really really nice so i'm going to pour out the water onto my hand and just rub that on my face now i've been using this soap pretty exclusively now for the last sort of maybe two weeks and i'm really enjoying it i'm getting great lathers from it getting great shaves from it it's working very very well and so I'll just show you the soap. So this is soap that you can see now. I'm just about to get the ring of death. It's just starting. I've got a little bit of water there. Now the brush, I wasn't going to use this brush tonight, but I chose this one because I know this is something that the stallion himself would use something similar. He would probably use a Morrison 400 or something like that. But this one is my Rhodium 28mm, uh, 3 band silver tip. Now this is the only one of this not in existence. It's a G-Point Ceramic, G-Point Ceramics handle made by Surjan Sister Oliveira. And this is a beautiful brush. Now it does lose the odd hair, but not too many. It's doing a lot better than it did in the beginning, that's for sure. Very, very dense knots. Creates a fantastic ladder. Not as good as a synthetic, but then again, I haven't come across a natural hair brush that gives me as good a ladder as synthetic. But they do give you a challenge and they, they, they are, each knot is unique and it gives you an appreciation of learning how to use that knot. And that for me is quite important when you're doing a hobby that you've got something that, that keep, piques your interest and keeps you interested in doing it. If it was monotonous like using a synthetic every single shave, I think I would struggle to keep that sort of enjoyment of the lathering going because this is part of the process for me this is probably my favorite part loading up and lathering this is what the, the most important part of the wet shave for me I'm going to load a really heavy load in here I'm going to do a three pass shave today start off today with the you can see that there there'll be people probably going oh what are you doing with that poor knot that's what happens when you've got a massive knot and a little tub <laughs> so I'm just put that to the side I'm just going to scoop all the suds from inside. Just scoop them. Oh God, there's a lot of suds here. Now, I can tell you right now, I could shave with that ladder. It's very slick, so it doesn't have the best properties, so to speak. It works very well for the shave. It's very slick. It does it, but the post shave. Is, is okay, it's not fantastic. It does a good job of it, it's just not up there with the best of the best. You can see there that little hole in the middle is getting bigger. I'll probably get about another 10 15 shaves out of that. Just set that to the side, and we'll start creating the ladder. So, I'm going to go back to my old technique on my well, it's not old, but. I'm going to use it for the shape by way of painting on and then dipping the brush in the water and just keep painting. I 
I like these little stubby handles, but this is where they become an issue, especially with a ceramic handle. You have a bit of soap on there and that is like super slippery. So you have to be very, very careful. Now I've loaded this brush far too heavy. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try, I'm going to try and clean this brush without dropping it. So you can see that's how long it's taken me to get that slickness off my fingers so that I can grab the towel and hopefully get most of the soap off the handle. Like so. And then I'm just going to scoop my finger around this knot. It's just messy because I've, I've loaded the brush so heavy with lather. Oh god, I just caught that there. Right, let's paint that on and then I'm going to splay the brush. And beat the lather into submission. I've also been in touch with Sergeant. He's back up and running again. We had a bit of a, a bit of a breather, which is good. Sometimes you need that. Some people were receptive of it. Some people weren't. I get it both ways. It's so it makes you feel, I suppose, especially when you pay for a service. Now what I'm going to do now, as you can see, I've got a ladder on there. I'm just going to dip the brush, the whole brush, the whole knot. I'm just going to paint a little bit of, little bit of water in here. Far, far too much lather. Don't need that. So you can see it, it certainly lathers well. The, the razor rock soap. And this one's ancient. I mean, I've had this for four years. At least. I started my channel in 2016, so it's 2022. Six years now this channel's been running. That's, a, that's, that's amazing. Six years. I didn't think I'd still be here. Okay, my razor of choice is the Feather Artist Club Stainless Steel. Same blade in here. This is the same feather. Feather Professional that's been in here for, I don't know how many shaves, that I've seriously lost count. Way, way more than 50. Albeit not all full shaves, but shaved my head several times, I've shaved my face several times, three pass shaves, single pass shaves. So I'm going to take this first chunk off, let's just get under here so I can actually see. This is the problem with this camera, it's focusing on this instead of that. Um, let me just turn that off and see if that makes a difference. Didn't turn off. I think I pushed the wrong button. One of my contact, my left contact lens has gone upside down, so. <laughs> this is actually a little bit blurry. Oh, there it goes, it's back now. And I'm just going to switch hands. The thing I love about this razor. Even when it's really wet, like I'm dipping this whole razor in the water, it's still got a fantastic grip. There's like a sort of this texture to it that even when it's a bit wet or a bit soapy, it still does the th does what you want it to do. Mm. 
you can see there it's not a perfect cleat shave that first pass but it takes a lot off I remember when I first started using straights and chevettes and things how, how hard it was especially holding it with the left hand and finding the angles and being able to do it now this essentially is probably more dangerous than a straight razor in the sense that it's a machine cut blade it's, it's a lot sharper with its edge, the edge is obviously pristine whereas on a straight razor nine times out of ten done on stones it's it's not going to be like that it's, a, it's got a bit of human error in there generally which I quite like right I'm not going to wipe my face I'm just going to look at that Right, the Carl Christopher Bradley razor, stainless steel, with a third use feather blade, I think it's the third use on it. I normally use these once and they don't go very well. The second use was actually quite nice on this one, so maybe let's see what the third one feels like. Maybe it's just a freak blade that just seems to feel good. It's lovely, it actually feels really nice. Feathers for me are, I mean, they're clearly, they're easily the sharpest blade out there. Not generally a very forgiving blade if you at that wrong angle you push too hard it will damage you like all blades will but feather blades in general will bite you more Shouting me and my son, I've got no idea. Third pass across the green and against the green and a bit of everything else. What mate? I want another pin for the account. I don't know the pin for your mum's account, mate. You don't know it? Not for your mum's, no.
if you watch my last shave using the Kai blades which are also in this area after a few shaves they get sharper after you use them it wasn't a great shave I've already got one weep of heat Pretty bloody good shave, I tell you. Now, it's the same problem. I'm looking in the mirror, it looks great. I know someone that sees me up close is not going to notice anything. This camera, I know when I do that, it looks like I haven't had a shave. Pretty impressive, I'm pretty happy with that. Right, I will finish off further with the skin guard just under the nose. Now I can get up with that with the DE razor, but that's just easy. It works very well, and that blade on the back will last a very, very long time. Let's off now. As you can probably see as well, I've got my Celtic top on today. We finally, finally, after so long, got back to the top of the Scottish Premier League, or the Cinch Premier League it's called now. It's been a long slog, we've done really well to get there, and hopefully they continue on after. I mean, we smashed Rangers last week, week and a half ago, absolutely annihilated them. And it's the best I've seen them play in a long time, so it's been exciting to watch that as well. Man United, on the other hand, have been awful, absolutely awful. I can't put my finger on it. You know, that team on paper is better than pretty much any. It's one of the best teams in the world. Worth, I think, if you put the best team on the pitch, it's over a billion pounds worth of players on paper. And it's, yeah, it's just madness. Absolutely madness. You just can't play football. It's terrible. Right, I'm going to finish with, what I'm going to finish with tonight, I'm going to finish with this again because I've actually been really enjoying the witch hazel. So Thea's peach. Now this one is an astringent, so actually, I don't know that it's got alcohol in it. I think this has alcohol in it, so it does have a little bit of a sting and a burn and stuff, but I find I have less issues after a shave when I use it. So I can feel that, that astringent properties of it, very similar to an Allen block where you get that sort of burn. But it feels great, I love the smell, it's a really nice peachy, so it is an alcoholy type smell, it smells almost like what I would imagine like peach mouthwash to smell like. It's quite a nice scent. It does the trick. Anyway, that's been done and dusted. Razor Rock, the Stallion, Oud, what does it say on here? An intense burst of Oud Cologne. What's that? Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Made in Italy for Razor Rock. I'm pretty sure this might be Chung Fung Sing or something like that. I can't remember the name of the brand, but I think that's who makes these soaps. Don't quote me on that, but looking at the tubs and things, I'm pretty sure it is. The brush was my 28mm 3 band rhodium knot with a G Point Ceramics handle made by, well, it's a brother sister collaboration, really. It's a great, great brush. God, the smell of that soap is brilliant. I do like oud, but it's summertime over here, it's like 30 odd degrees every day, so oud scents, they're a big no no. Started the shave with the Artist Club feather with this never ending blade that just goes on forever and ever. And I'm getting better and better with it as well the more I use it. And the Carve Christopher Bradley razor in stainless steel. Haven't got a titanium one yet. I don't have my aluminium anymore. I don't have an overlander. So I was hoping to maybe get my hands on them eventually. I don't know what's when or that's going to happen. No idea. But yeah, finished off with the skin guard just under the nose as I always do. I do that every time. I just finishes it off. And a little bit of Thea's Witch Hazel. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I've got work tomorrow, which I probably won't enjoy, but it pays the bills. 
and yeah, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.